when I was there, there were water shortages that um, that caused pink eye epidemics, and like our office would like shut down because like we would just post a sign on the door that said, "If you have pink eye, don't come in here. Call me, and we'll reset reset your court date." Um, I mean, there's an article today on on NACDL's website about the problems going on in New Orleans with the public defenders there, oh and and how you know the PD's office there is actually turning away people. Uh, a, because of the funding, and, and B, because they're just overloaded. Uh, well, I actually wrote a, a letter to uh, to the Louisiana um, Public Defense Board about that, yeah. talking about how like funding this is not an option, and I was just practicing in a third world country that recognized that. You know? Right, and I mean, <laughs> I, that's what amazes me. Here you are in a third world country where literally things, the, the entire island can get shut down due to water giving you pink eye. And we can't figure out on, uh, on mainland United States soil how to properly fund a public you know, defender system in a major U.S. city. It, a absolutely. It's appalling. And, yeah, and that's what I was saying in this letter, too, was also, like, we had four public defenders in that office. We got budget expansions in that office in a tiny nation that, that desperately was in, was in horrible budget shortfalls because they recognized how important this is. This is constitutionally mandated. You don't get to just eliminate this. This isn't a luxury. This isn't a frivolity, you know? <coughs> and, I mean, like, some tiny little country recognizes that, but you don't? That's ridiculous.